All right, let's practice some sentences. Actually, this isn't really a sentence practicing video because unit zero only focuses on reading syllables. Starting from unit one, lesson one, I have sentence practice videos where I prompt you with English sentences for you to translate into Korean. I figured I should do the same thing in unit zero, but we don't have any sentences for you to translate yet. What you can do, however, is write Korean syllables if I prompt you with romanizations. I figure there's no point in using random syllables. Instead, I went into Unit 1, Lesson 1 and found five words that you could write using the knowledge from Unit 0, Lesson 1. You'll have to memorize these words eventually, so you might as well start looking at them now. I'm going to prompt you with five words using romanizations. The first word that I would like you to try is Han Gu. I'll give you 10 seconds and you can start now. Okay, the first syllable would look like this, Han, and the second syllable would look like this, Gu. This would translate to Korea. The second word I would like you to try is Nam Ja. I'll give you 10 seconds and you can start now. Okay, the first syllable, nam, would look like this. And the second syllable would look like this. Nam ja. This translates to man. The third word I would like you to try is sa ram. As an English speaker, you might be looking at this and think that this says sa ram. However, as I mentioned in Unit 0, Lesson 1, there is no real way to represent an R or an L in Korean, and it's actually a letter that's sort of a mix between the two. I would say this as Saram. I'll give you 10 seconds and you can start now. Okay, the first syllable Sa would look like this, and the second syllable would look like this. Ram. This would read Saram. This translates to person. The fourth word I would like you to try is Namu. I'll give you 10 seconds and you can start now. Okay, the first syllable would look like this. Na, and the second syllable would look like this, mu. This would read na mu. This translates to tree. The fifth word I would like you to try is do si. As an English speaker, you might be looking at this and thinking that this says do si. However, whenever the S letter in Korean is followed by the I letter in Korean, the S letter actually makes a sh sound. So this word would actually say do si. I'll give you 10 seconds and you can start now. Okay, the first syllable do would look like this. And the shi would look like this. This would read do si. This translates to city. Well, that was fun. I hope you learned a lot.